The boys are just going through a water change now, so they're not really too happy, but as you can see, I've had to split the tank again and the blue neon's back, so more about that in a minute. So this video is meant to be about the blue neon and why I moved him back to the 20 gallon and I'll touch on that a little bit, but this is the start of a rant, so if you want to stay tuned, you can, if not, uh, you, can, you can click off now, but you spend so much time and so much energy and so much money making your fish tanks look like this and keeping your fish healthy, and then this happens. So we had to halt the plans on the video of why the blue neon's out of the 55 because I just decided to do a water change on this tank and all the fry and this guy for a little bit started flashing. So we're going to do a little experiment. I already know what it is because it happened to me about three months ago, but we're going we're gonna to go for it anyway. So let's take a look, shall we? So I always run the tap for like a minute or two before I start filling my bucket. So let's uh, let's fill it up and see what the API freshwater test kit says. So here you can see it pretty clearly. It's definitely nowhere near zero. Probably somewhere in between the 0 0.50 and one parts per million. So I essentially just dumped that straight into my tank with all my fry. So what a mm, solenoid. So yeah, enjoy that fellas, what a absolute joke. All the water companies talk about clean water and everything like that, yeah enjoy that ammonia. A second time in three months, this is ridiculous. So now I've got loads of fry with pinned fins and they just, I mean they just don't look good do they? We're going to have to keep checking this guy out to move him out of the 55 the other week because he just weren't showing the same coloration. Um, he looks to be doing alright. But, I don't know. So we've increased aeration in the tank. We've got that filter filled with bacterial media. We've got that sponge filter that's been running in this tank for, I mean, at least a year, so hopefully That'll help a little bit with the ammonia and we'll try and do a water change and check it tomorrow and see if I can I can do one. I don't know, maybe they did a flush today at the plant, who, who knows, but I mean this is, you spend so much time, look at that one, you spend so much time trying to grow out fish to sell them and then something like this happens that's beyond your control, like, <sighs> unbelievable. So anyway guys, that's the rant over, hopefully these fish can stick it out and deal with the high levels of ammonia for a little bit and then we can figure out what to do, hopefully we can do a water change on the tank tomorrow and suss it out from there, but we've done all we can, increased aeration and all that good stuff, so we'll see what happens. This video was originally meant to be just for that guy there, I decided to move him out of the 55 gallon just because he won't show in the same coloration as he does in a breeder tank or in a little part of the tank by himself. He's actually looking good right now. Hopefully that stays. Um, but then I was doing the water change and I started seeing all the fish flashing and just not looking good. So I decided to go on a rant about these water companies and ammonia because like I said, it's happened to me now for um, twice in the last three months. So, I mean, what a joke absolute joke um, we're here in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania let us know in what part of the country you've experienced these problems and what you did to combat it because I'm hoping these guys survive we did start doing a water change on this tank as well but we since rescheduled it for another time but these guys these guys are looking good the blue neons that I've got in there are putting putting some size on my star sapphire He's also putting some size on, I'm really, really happy about that. Dragon Blood's looking awesome. Sunshine's looking like a beast as usual. So, yeah, these guys, these guys will be fine. 
and uh, hopefully I'll get to do a water change tomorrow. But since I moved in, this guy for the most part is looking really good and I'm making some changes in the 55, selling some of the bigger fish and I'm even debating making it a blue on colony. That'll probably be happening sooner rather than later, that way you can just be the main male boss in there. Um, but yeah, wish me, wish me luck. If you've got any hints or tips, leave them in the comment and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully give you an update on these guys and hopefully it'll be good news rather than bad news, although there is, there is one down there that's not looking too hot, so we'll see what happens. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, listening to my rant. I'm sure we've all had problems like this before, but it isn't half annoying when, when you have been on the receiving end for the second time in two or three months. So stay tuned, I'll, I'll be uploading an update video on these guys soon and we'll see you on the next one.